Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Today we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farm Sim 22. In total, we have 18 mods today for all platforms, 11 new and 4 updates, also known as Crossplay. Ed, PC, and Mac players got 2 new and 1 update. In the video, we'll show you all the new ones, plus customization, and there's a few we're going to talk about how to actually use, and we will review every mod that got an update. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the McCormick X8 VT Drive, which is not what's in front of you right now. This is also a Landini Series 8. Both of these are included in the same pack because they're more or less the same thing. So let's take a look at the Landini first. 286 horsepower, have a variable transmission, 550 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, and it weighs 10.9 tons. One of the most beautiful tractors in the game. We have different engine options. So we have the 286. We bump that up to 310 if you guys want to. Will Brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Minus, Protestant, and uh, Oof, Lizard tires how's about that now we do have these in wheel weights or without but if we go through here you can see we have just standard stuff through the rest of them uh, i don't know what uh Kotflugel is but uh oh front uh front bits there you go main color a lot of blues through there but we also have uh farm show silver and night shadow i like that uh interior we've got a couple different colors for there as well and then rim color we have two colors for that as for the McCormick X8, uh, probably similar stuff. Uh, engines are exactly the same, with the exception of one thing. We actually have a smaller engine. That's pretty cool. Uh, wheel brands, we have all the same stuff through here, even those chonky lizard tires. Uh, the uh, Kotflugel uh, at the front, <laughs> yes or no. Different colors here. We do have a communal color there. We still have the Farm Sim Shadow. Uh, we have Black Beauty on here, which is a little bit different. Interior, we have different colors for that, including white. And rim colors here are a little bit different. To be honest with you, black with orange rims? Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Now, there are a few things that we can control. For example, the front, we can raise and lower that, which is nice. And then I think that might be it. Uh, they do say that there's opening doors and windows and stuff like that. However, uh, I do not have the buttons for those. Next, we have the electric fire defense. They say this is a brand new firefighting vehicle designed specifically for use in high risk operations and difficult conditions. Um, they go through a whole lot of other stuff as well, uh, like that it has air conditioning and ventilation and stuff. Obviously that does not matter in the game. One does matter in the game is that can we use it for fighting fires and the answer is no uh 375 horsepower a variable transmission 132 kilowatt battery on here so yes it is battery powered 68 miles an hour so close at 7.6 tons uh, as far as uh, foiling or as it's called uh, liveries we do have a few different liveries on there uh plastic paint we could change that up between black and white and rim colors we have a couple versions of those as well if we get one of these and we put it out here we can do a few different things so toggle steering mode uh looks like we have front steering there and 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 also front steering there but it just kind of always turns left. So forwards, uh, forwards, always right, or always left. There's gotta be a reason for all of that, but I just don't know what it is. I don't know what the reason for always turning right would be or left. Please help. Uh, we also have some other things. So uh, vehicle lifting technology. I, I don't know what that does. I'm pushing it, but it doesn't. It it physically just doesn't work. Uh, nothing's happening. Uh, what else do we have on here? Race crane number two. Okay. We can open a skylight. Is that what that is? Uh, it it's lighting, right? But uh, race vehicle. That's kind of cool. Open cup. Uh, nope. Don't like that. Not not even a little bit. Raise light pole. There we go. Okay. So we've got that. We can <laughs> set that around. Man, there is so much. To oh, okay. It's just going to keep going. All right. That, that works. That works. Oh. And now it's up there. Mm, just 
do not like any of that at all. So lots of lighting here. What else can we do? Uh, rotate the crane. So that is going to turn our light for us, which is nice. However, I don't actually know if it's moving the light or not. Seems like it is. So at least there's that. Yeah, it must be moving it because it's getting brighter at the front. Um, as far as anything else goes, vehicle lifting technology, again, I have no idea what that means. Uh, and then we have a couple different bits here where we can open up the side. That's cool. And uh, then open all the doors at once. Again, super cool. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you can't fight fires with it because fires don't exist. Next to something that I physically can't fit into the entire screen, it is the Lieber SC350T. It's a container lifter, man. How cool is this? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. 462 horsepower may as well be 4 million horsepower because it just does its job. Uh, 1,500 liter capacity for fuel. You're going to need that. Drives 18 miles an hour. This goes faster than some combine harvesters. Uh, and it weighs 52.2 tons. Uh, colors? Yes. Yes is the answer you're looking for here. All of the above. Uh, quite literally, everything can be changed, which is just so cool you can lease it or you can buy it it's really not that expensive we turn it on we can hear hear the engine uh we do have a couple different modes and look at this look at this look at this <laughs> what are those <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever man uh this will lift containers do all that fun stuff for you guys uh, as far as we take a look here so we can uh, basically increase how wide it is to go pick up the containers, which is good. You're gonna need that. And then we have some other buttons that aren't doing much now. So we'll figure those out. We can move left and right. And of course, up and down, which is very, very cool. I don't think it expands anymore other than this. I don't think there's really any reason for it to expand any more than that. So that's good at least. And then going through the rest of it. Yeah, that's a that's about it, man. Uh, first person does look pretty good, but does make it a little bit difficult to kind of see what you're doing. Uh, so if you do like here with like the Grand Theft Auto view, uh, you could do that, but probably easiest to do here. So we've got a couple containers right through here, and uh, I'm reading online that it says that the uh, wood containers can only attach via straps, which is kind of interesting. So let's come through here. Do we have straps on there? It does say or, uh, fasten tension belts. So we'll come through here. We will set this up. We've got 40 foot. So we will bring it down. There we go. And move it over. Yep, that'll work. Oh, it's starting to shake. Uh-oh. <laughs> and expand out. And we'll try and hit it just right. There we go. And there's no button to grab it. However, when we go tension belts, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That works perfectly fine. It also means I think if we drive straight at a, at a decent speed, we can drop it. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Leave me alone. All right, let's, uh, let's pick up these containers right through here. Probably not the most, uh, <laughs> most best way to do this. Bring it down. There we go. And we should, should see a connection, uh, but it is uh, no, no connecting. However, we still have the straps. We can pick them up. This is, um, <laughs> this is a lot, dude. I love this. Next is a super cool one. This is the log leveler. Also brought from the same person that brought us the crane. This is neat because it allows you to kind of bunch your stuff uh bunch the logs up together which is nice so we have a bunch of different color through here so uh, you could basically choose whatever you want there's a lot of colors to choose from through here so you've got all of that and everything moves which is super cool i'm not gonna get this one though we'll get this one so this can be entered we i don't think need to turn it on which is nice We'll go ahead and sit and unfold it. And what will happen is now it will basically close back down through sheer weight. Uh, we can adjust a few things. So if we come through here and adjust on the right, actually it's not, not getting the button on the right. Hmm. 
Well, maybe I'm just an idiot. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, idiot. Uh, DJ Idiot confirmed. It is not bringing it back in, though. Oh, okay. Uh, Expandomatic. So, different options here. So, custom cut to length, five. We also have four meter. Five meters right there. So, we'll stick with five meters. Uh, that's going to be our, our go-to here. And that's all you have to do from there. So now we've got some of these logs and what if a few of them are, oh, I don't know, a little bit off from each other. Like, uh, like this. This is it's probably gonna be too heavy for that one. Let's be honest with ourselves. So we'll come in here, we'll bunch these up, we'll pick them up. There we go, we got those. This one, this one didn't make the cut either. Sorry, bro. We'll pick these up, we'll bring them over and we just kind of drop them in and you guys see it arranges them all absolutely perfectly so now i just gotta pick them all up again oh uh the, sh the strap has also picked up the machine itself so maybe don't use this exact piece of uh, machinery but it puts all the bills nice and neat for you <laughs> Stacking bells, or <laughs> how many times have I said bells? Stacking wood has never been easier. I am the logging king. Next is something cool. This is the NO15 COS or KOS. This is a fertilizer spreader that can also seed. Yeah, this is super neat. All right, so 200 liters, that's gonna be solid fertilizer or seeds. Weighs 270 kilograms, seven meter working with at four miles an hour. Now we can either set it up for a catch crop drill. And if we do that, we're gonna be able to do grass, cover crop or canola. So a cheap way to do canola, by the way, or you could do solid fertilizer or lime even if you put it on a spreader, which is cool. Belt guard, so we have customization options through here. We take away that belt guard. Spreading disc cover, we could take that away. The gearbox, yes or no. Seat, even, yes or no. You definitely want that seat on there. Uh, then we have some other things like reflectors, for example, if you're going to be on the road. Stickers, we got some stickers on there, different stuff. Toolbox flap, we've got that. Uh, type of attachment, we have low hitch, upper hitch, or even three points. You can hook this up via three point. Frame color, we could change that up. Tank and shield, a little bit lighter. And then rim color, we could change that between the blues and the reds. That's it, and I don't think I need to show how this one works. Next is our square bell fork. This works on wheel loaders, but we could also go telehandlers, which is nice. Uh, fork options, a bunch of different fork options through here. And then we have different color options as well. Now this is neat because we have uh, New Holland colors through here. We have, of course, black gloss, New Holland red, Yon Counter Plus One, a Dually, that's kind of neat, John Deere, we also have New Holland Yellows, we've got the Massey Ferguson Red Glosses, Challenger, Massey Ferguson Gray even, a lot of colors through here, a lot of custom colors, and it doesn't actually look like any base game colors are in here, so you guys can come through and find the exact one that you want. We also have the exact same setup for the Tines and the Attachment Color change it all and we have some placeables as well can't do a mod video without placeables first one the british storage shed from vr modding very cool here one button opens up this entire area which is nice and over here of course we have lighting if we want to turn that on and off and then we have an area right through there which i don't know if i can get into there we go yeah we've got a whole area here to the side as well with a retaining wall so you guys can uh, maybe raise up one side or park stuff against it something like that this is very cool and it's a little bit outside the box. I like this. Next up, we have a hall pack. The hall's pack itself. We have four buildings in here, multiple different setups, multiple different angles. Please let me in. Is there a different button that I have to push to open this door? No, I just physically can't. Okay, there we go. Do I have to get like right up on it? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I do have to get right up on it. So find your handle. There's a handle which blends in really well when there's no light. Look at the inside of this, though. Tons of detail. Absolute uber detail. If we come over here, we can turn on the shed lights. This is the, the new button with the left, uh, left trigger. They are not white. Those are green. <laughs> That's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. I do believe this is a potato building. Uh, let's see, Potato Hall Large. Yes, yeah, so this is the potato building. Uh, over here we have a shed, if we get close to it, we'll know what it is. Machine shed with doors. 
And it doesn't look like we are able to open those doors. We can open a galvanized steel door and come in here and open the gate this way. So we are able to do that again. Another beautiful building that looks totally different on the inside. It's kind of cool. And then we have a couple more versions over here as well. We are going to have to speed it up just a little bit. Player speed mod. This one's completely open, so nothing too crazy there. And then this one, if we take a look, is the potato hall medium. Not large, just medium. Uh, we can turn on the shed lights from the outside. Uh, okay, so you're probably going to have to go in this door. Another galvanized steel door. Let me in. And then we have this. So we can open up the doors through here. We have two doors on either side and then one door here on the end. So nice for loading in. And then all potatoes get stored down there on that end. Huge, huge buildings as well. I mean, this is my testing area. And and over there, you can see some of the equipment that we used. Uh, these are huge. And we've got another shed pack as well. This one is the wooden shed pack from VX Mapping. Uh, different stuff through here. Very, very different stuff. So you can see through here on this one, we've got places where we can stack all kinds of pallets and things like that. And if we come around the back, we've got a place where we can park everything, which is very, very cool. No doors on the back of this one, at least that I could see from there. However... We do have normal door opening, so whenever you click the button, these are going to open up very normal and disappear into the roller, which is super cool. And then we've got all this. We do have a door on the very back, and it does open very quickly as well. So, nice brisk opening there. Speaking of opening, we've got a fully open one with, again, a few more places for grates and things like that. Uh, again, a very different, very cool outside-the-box set of buildings here. And again, more setups more storage and then we have this super cool area right here we've got a blowing in the wind motorex uh area there we've got a big door here that we can open place to work on your vehicle lots of areas for doing like role play style activities or pretending that you're working on something something like that this is cool man this is a great pack, another great pack. Your next to last new one for all platforms day is going to be the Gregory Cowshed. Through here, we have quite a few openings, quite a few door openings, things like that. Even through here, we've got our area for our cattle and I don't know what it is, but again, I love the look of this and even the door animations. Those are super cool. Got a door here, does it open? Of course it does. And we find our way into another area right here where we can buy our animals 31 head of cattle, which is not terrible for a smaller bit like this. I'm uh, not sure what's going on with the frame rate, but my game is playing fine. That's just in the capture. And uh, spinning it around. Here, click that. Yes, very cool. I think I need a new capture card. Oh, and then we've got some uh, stuff here as well. Man, I, I'm, I'm absolutely lost in here. Absolutely lost. Oh, there's another area here to the right. Look at this. Manure pit. Cool. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the Bell Bunker for Sugar Beet. This is a bunker storage made for bells, or by, fr made from bells, by bells, for bells. But not for bells, for sugar beets. Right here, you can dump your sugar beets in there. Uh, it is actually a, uh, like, a silo. It's just a visual silo, so... You dump your sugar beets here, and then you can pick them back up. Uh, kind of like a manure pit works slightly, kind of something like that. Uh, fill volume's half a million liters, so if you want to do sugar beets visibly, but still make it easy, this is the way to do it. Making our way over to some updates for all platforms, we have Fox Farms Map version 1004. Prefab's decorative elements are sellable and increase the mod description version. Next is the Snoofle Stock. This is version 1.2. I love the name of this mod. They've added a new tire brand, the Michelin. They also added BKT and Verdestein, as well as Trilobor Care Tires. They also added new collabor or configuration for beacons. Can you imagine? Yeah, my new collaboration with the beacons. They have original and LED. Also, rear hydraulics and frame have been rebuilt, adaption to current patch, and wheel steering angle adjusted. How's about an update to the buildings of Norway? This is version 1025. Fixed an error in the grain mill with a missing node and fixed the Bergton sheep farm will no longer be a destination for contracts. Now, one really cool thing about this is this update 
helps fix a few things. Well, Old Holodor is also currently working on the update to Renbu, which these buildings are a big part of. I don't know, I, I, was, I mean, it's a, what, a 4X, 8X map, something like that's crazy. So not going to be coming to consoles, but it is super cool and gives us an idea of what we can expect to see soon. And your last update for all platforms, Storage Halls Pack. This is version 1.2, Type-C fixed rain through the roof. Jumping over two new ones for PC and Mac players, and we have the exact same setup here for the firefighter thing, but uh, yeah, it's for PC. It's branded instead of not. I think the only thing that's different is the brand on the front, which I'm pretty sure is on the crossplay version as well. Uh, anyway, I'm not showing this off twice. And your second new one's not a new one at all. Uh, I got fooled by Giant Software and so did everybody else. Mod Hub's totally wrong. We need to get that changed. Uh, this is the Grand Columbus Pack. It's version 101. New color configurations and animations have been fixed. Uh, okay, now let's get into the actual updates. And your last mod today, this is going to be an update to the selectable bail capacity add-on for PC and Mac players. This is version 1.3 of the mod, bailers with liftable in the name are removed from the store and have not received any of the improvements from this update. Will not affect any of the existing saves you have, but you should replace these bailers ASAP as they will be removed completely in a future update. They've removed the 3x capacity and replaced it with 9x capacity option. Mod description update to reflect the changes. They've also increased the operating speed on all bailers. Fast bail is two times the capacity bails. They've also added the Massey Ferguson R B 4160V ProTech, the Rotana 160V Combi, Massey Ferguson 2370 Ultra HD, and Squadra, oh yeah, 1290 UD Baylors from the 1.9.1 game update. And they also added Sport for Alfalfa and Clover. What an update. Yeah, man. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. Double check those notification bells. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said. I just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.